Hello and welcome back to, well, let's try. We're trying uh, Nessus. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, just so you know, uh, key provided by the devs or uh, Hooded Horse. Um, now that Nessus is being published by Hooded Horse, thank you very much. Though I already bought the game, so that means I have a extra key I'm going to be sharing. If you uh, watch this video, I will uh, flash it the code across the screen at some point. First come, first serve. But uh, yeah, you get yourself a get yourself a copy of Nessus. Um, I like this game quite a lot. It is a uh, sort of open world survival um, kind of action game, not like Diablo so much as a more like a top down Terraria. And you, it's kind of slow paced, but in a good way. I, I really appreciate what they're going for here. There's a bit of a Diablo or a, you know action RPG. Uh, combat uh, mixed in with some survival elements mixed in with a little bit of um, you know, uh, what would you call it like a rim world esque kind of thing going on um, colony sim I suppose um, but like they treat it more like I don't know blunt mechanics than they than in something like a rim world like you're not really managing uh, a village so much as you're just kind of building it so I guess it's more like a village RPG in that sense but um, I'm just kind of out exploring. Um, I'm trying to fill out my map. Uh, I'm collecting some fire money seeds or fire money. Um, I don't know if it's just fire moan. But, uh, you know, there's dungeons in this game. There's uh, collecting loot. There's leveling up, I think. I think there's leveling up. I played this quite a long time ago, actually, um, as part of my coffee break back when I was uh, going to do something like that and uh, I, I wanted to return to this seeing as it got picked up by Hooded Horse and it's received a couple of updates since then but for now I'm just trying to fill out my map and um, I'm going to be doing some editing here and there to um, you know highlight some interesting parts of this game okay so we got some like interesting ruin stuff going on here what do we got what, what, what do we got we got some torches use x to quick place yeah I, i've been doing that we got some coins you can buy stuff speed potions nunchucks that seems like it could be cool um melee damage 16 knockback versus what uh wish we could compare a bit more easily maybe we can um i think our copper sword is better it doesn't have as good knockback though what is the, the melee 16? Can we can we compare? Doesn't look like it, at least not easily. And OK, so I mean, I'll take them. Maybe I can sell them to someone. I've also got some ninja stars, so maybe we can we can throw those at some some baddies. Can I like? Yeah, I can pick up this barrel as well. There are some like dungeons and like places of interest that I'm uh, I want to check out, but I'm just kind of like, you know, fully exploring our, our whole island first. I did do a little bit of exploration in the um, in my previous let's try of this game. Uh, we we checked out some other islands. This is the same playthrough, by the way, and we're heading into our, our night cycle here. Uh, there's going to be like zombies at night. You you're going to want to fend off your village. But uh, something that's kind of cool is like once you've uh, collected a couple of villagers, once you've found people who want to join your colony, uh, they'll actually fight the zombies for you, which is kind of fun. Uh, I think they can even do some stuff like farming and stuff. We'll, we'll get into that a little bit as well. Oh no, here come the zombies. Ooh, I don't remember setting up that farm. All right, let's get our sword out. Back, get back. I very like, honestly, I'm impressed with a, a zombie that can actually use a bow and arrow. That's, that's pretty pretty impressive um i should set up some more torches in this area because it is a little bit dark for my liking the the lighting in this game i mean it's it's a little bit janky but i i think it's charming um i mean like the graphics in general you're 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 playing this game for the gameplay is, is the, the nicest thing the nicest way i can put that i think but um you know the gameplay is actually quite compelling uh oh we're gonna die if i if i'm not careful you know what i'm going in here and i'm closing the door goodbye let's see can we use our bed set spawn oh cool i got a chivo for that wake up no i i want to use it 
our oh that that helps us recover our health as well i'm gonna have to eat some food when i get up um so that does pass the time and uh we don't have to fight zombies if we don't want to i do need to get myself a uh i want to there's an underground and i have to figure out how to how to get to that oh is it right here oh it's right there and there we go so we've got a dungeon here uh i have you, you get uh, map fragments from killing zombies and all kinds of weirdos um so you can uh it'll actually reveal where there are like some extra chests in the world for you to to discover which i think is pretty fun we got ourselves an extra storage chest but yeah this is a we're, we're gonna be doing mining we're gonna be doing all kinds of things in this game i mean there's a lot to explore in this game i think they've done uh this you know they're doing a really good job with um kind of making a top-down terraria in a lot of ways there's in fact in some ways uh i think that the villager mechanics are a little bit more robust um not that much more i know i know that the the villagers in terraria were actually pretty good um and would offer some interesting stuff but i, I kind of like that the idea of like approaching your village like a um like an rpg and you know like you're you're kind of leveling up your your village by collecting new stuff collecting new uh villagers and and uh you know making the place a bit more interesting let me see here can we kill that spider i don't like spiders i want to crack open this uh dungeon as well some of these dungeons are a little bit um you know they they have leave a little bit to 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 be required mysterious portal calls a powerful creature i don't know if i want to do that just yet but we'll take that recall scroll that's always good iron bombs iron bars health regen Ooh, a trained heavy hammer i feel like that might be better than what we are currently using let's try that and we have traps as well you might notice there's been the occasional um like trap on the on the on the door what is that yeah oh, ouch I, I i had to the curiosity got the better of me and i went ahead and set myself on fire um okay we're no longer on fire i'm gonna want to get rid of that you do that much the same as you would in terraria is you just get rid of the uh the trigger and then you don't have to worry about oh uh i don't know about this hammer i feel like it's not doing as much damage as it oh ah that's all my stuff dropped i think what did i drop okay i don't drop my equipment this uh hammer does like do a little burst it seems to shoot a thing but i think i like my sword better um let me also get rid of that torch i, I placed it by accident okay we're gonna go back down there and i want to get my stuff back i think those x's i'm not sure what those x's are actually that might have been somewhere where i died but that doesn't make sense because i just died and uh it didn't seem to drop an x I'm not really seeing any indication actually of uh where we where we died oh actually there is an x okay so i'm just like straight up wrong so the x is where i died and I'm, I'm sure at some point i can um get rid of those markers uh i want to check out this area i mean it's a little bit spicy over here but Nothing we can't handle so long as I'm being smart. We got some more ninja stars. I should try, try the ninja stars. Oh. Oof. The game's quite kind, actually, in a lot of ways. Like, you know, the way the fact that you can dodge projectiles is kind of nice. In some ways, uh, I, I, not a lot of ways, but this game kind of reminds me of Pixel Pirates. I don't know if you remember that game it was it's it's kind of made a semi comeback recently because the uh the dev brought it out of retirement okay there's a lot of zombie lads here let's um circle around oh no okay 
we have some speed potion. I want to I want to mine this. I don't know what this is, but I want it. Iron ore. Okay, we can smelt that down. Um we should have recall potions in Oh no. Don't don't be doing inventory management while you're being chased down by a zombie. All right. Okay, recall potion swap that out for whatever this is wood fishing rod okay well, we might need that actually and we also have a bow that i should probably use so let's try this recall all right so that brings us back very handily um let's see if we can do some smelting we have some iron bars but did i not just get some iron ore keep running we got some stone i'm wondering so the nice thing about uh, these crafting tables and such is they uh they'll actually pull from uh nearby inventories if you allow them to and so you can actually just like let me see here dump there's a button down here i am using a controller just to try it out restock from nearby inventories quick stack to nearby inventory so we can hit that and then suddenly all like our inventory is is all moved over it, it again i can't I kind of feel like it's pulling that from terraria but um and that's a good thing I, I like that as a as a feature quite a lot so i can throw this iron bar in here um i thought i got some iron ore but it doesn't look like i have any i have some oh i should use a health potion at some point i should also eat some food let's go ahead and eat some food i'm also gonna want to throw these spruce logs in here because um the furnace is gonna pull from that so this is this is our workstation we can make some more walls and stuff um we've got a forge carpenter's bench might be a good thing to have i don't think we have that just yet so let's go ahead and make that in some ways this is, this feels like a um a car a very casualized version of uh valheim i know that's kind of a stretch you're gonna have to you're gonna have to work with me on that one but it does it does remind me a little bit of valheim in some ways uh, just in it's kind of like t you know it's approaching the survival genre with you know fairly fresh eyes and let's go ahead and place that like right here boop whoops I, I keep accidentally placing torches it that is completely my bad i like the fact that you can play place torches quite easily um but nonetheless i am placing them when i don't want to okay so what do we have here we can make all kinds of furniture and stuff spruce chairs um oak bench oak stuff i don't yet know what we need those for but i'm assuming we're gonna need those we can also probably make some ladders it seems to me we can craft ladders at this and that's important because that's how we um get down to our dungeon i'm pretty sure i'm pretty okay with all of that stuff i'm gonna go ahead and um dump some more stuff here like this i don't know if we can like um broken copper tool crafting material can be melted down or sold so that that answers that question i was about to say oh iron ore there we go there's our iron ore it really doesn't look like iron okay so let's throw that in there and it's already it's it's doing its thing and we don't have to manage that that's kind of nice um and we can make some more tools. Uh, I'm wondering if it wouldn't be worth making like a better pickaxe. A gold pickaxe seems like a good thing to have. What is this? A sparkler. Magic damage 10. Shoots a stream of molten metal. Burns target on hit. Seems quite nice. Uh, better armor. In fact, any armor would be a good idea. So this is 8, 16, and 12. We're going to need a lot of gold if we're gonna want to um have some armor i'm gonna go ahead and leave all of that to its thing and i'm gonna leave that zombie to their to their devices and i want to come down here and do some more mining i want to check out some more stuff um there is a, a vein of stuff down here that i wanted to have a look at this is a game i could see like i, I you know i like to experiment to um, by using you know the gamepad when it comes to games like this because this is a very difficult game to do right on the gamepad um and that way i know like could i play this on the steam deck i have a good a pretty good feeling that i would be able to play it pretty comfortably on the steam deck so we're gonna grab this here copper ore 
and um, the stone I'm also assuming is going to be useful for something and actually what I'd like to do is just kind of punch a hole through here so I can get there's another copper ore to our right there getting some more uh, armor wouldn't be a good uh, bad idea wouldn't be a good idea yeah it would be a I'm getting hungry that's a good point get out of here spider um, that's not what I meant to do I meant to do that there's a goblin oh get out of here goblin spooky goblin Ooh, we got we got more lads making their way oh my god look at them all hold on oh oh ouch get out of here broken copper tool there's there's quite a lot of them they're they're really coming out of the woodwork there there's some molten magma down below i should really put health potions on our quick bar yo the oh god damn the, the range zombies are such a pain in the butt i need some better armor i need some way of dealing with them it's fine i need to I, I, what i'm gonna try and do at some point is figure out how to get rid of those markers on my map because i'm i'm gonna be accumulating some markers get out of here zombie with the ranged actually let's try and use our bow Ooh, we've got like fire arrows Ooh, god i'm so bad at like dodging them okay they're not so good against the zombies is it just like shooting or uh, using our, our ancient statue that's something new i don't remember getting an ancient statue Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put health potions on our quick bar Probably yeah, we don't need stone on our bar and then I'm gonna go ahead and use that and we're gonna kill the zombie That's slowly creeping up on me Killing zombies is what gives you those maps by the way and uh, I'm pretty sure I keep I've revealed a few things although it doesn't seem like I have been able to find them i have a funny feeling that there when you leave your island we are going to do that in this session um and don't worry i haven't forgotten about the free code it's it's still coming game kind of reminds me of core keeper i don't think it looks as nice as core keeper but i do think it's a bit more feature rich than core keeper oh god we've got like spiders and all kinds of horrible things here oh god look at how big that spider is that actually actually kind of creeped me out there oh he can shoot us with like poison and, and garbage ouch get out of here spider i don't like you at all okay let's use another health potion and um oh this this place gives me the give gives me the fear I'll tell you what Get rid of these spider webs ouch there's all kinds of horrible things lurking in there i don't i don't like these zombies and there's another spider i see them oh god oh god i've made a mistake i have made a mistake oof i am not good at aiming that The shuriken are actually not bad at killing stuff. There's another portal thing. Spider is making his way home. Uh, I'm not going to worry about him. What I am going to worry about is I want to get this iron on my right side here. People give me sh shit for saying iron, by the way. I find that really strange. All right. Let's, uh, I'm gonna grab this here, iron. These guys, what are they, what's their deal? Why are there so many little spiders? Get out of here. I will, I will dedicate some shuriken to making sure I don't have to see you anymore. Getting this place nice and bright. I don't know if it works, if it's kind of like Minecraft rules where it's like, if there's darkness, then they can spawn there. It's a good way of doing things, so I, uh, I have to imagine that that's how it works. This is going to be enough iron, I think, to uh, make some armor. 
I think as soon as I've made some armor, then I'm gonna go ahead and um, see if I can uh, if I can leave the island and check out some other stuff. Getting hungry. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna mine this stuff first, and then uh, and then we'll head back up. It's a good gameplay loop, though. You know, it, it works well. Go and mine some stuff, kill some things, uh, come back and um, do it all again, you know? We've got some iron bars here. Not as many as I thought, to be honest. But some. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick stack to nearby inventories. I should just okay we got a map map fragment i'm gonna make some armor uh and then as soon as i'm done that then i will go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll leave the island maybe all right i'm gonna make a, ourselves a chest plate that'll actually pretty much spend all of our bars or i could do um an iron helmet which would leave us with seven bars and then could we do legs just barely no <laughs> so we might as well do a chest plate because that's going to give us the most bang for our buck and we'll go ahead and equip those i think we're just wearing a shirt oh no we, we're actually wearing nothing uh well we have a shirt on but like we we didn't have anything else we can place some oak saplings oh we also oh shoot we had these broken iron tools i'm gonna see if i can smelt those down let's see here yeah those will give us some stuff um didn't i also have some copper tools i could smelt down yeah over here so let's go ahead and grab those and also smelt those down i have a uh, quite a lot of copper copper ore that i need to smelt what is this worm bait um yeah since there's be there's two slots we can throw those down and i think that they will yeah we'll go ahead and, and just kind of like queue things up for us and we'll also throw down broken copper tools and i should probably put some more wood in that fire just in the case uh we'll split the stack here pretty good controls i gotta say they work well um i'm appreciating them uh let's see, keep running throw that in there we can make some uh, copper armor to fill in the gaps a little bit here, but we have enough to make some iron boots now. Oh, we actually already had some copper boots. I wonder, can we melt those down? I always appreciate it when a game allows me to kind of like recycle. No, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trash those. Unless I can give them to my, my one villager. Where is he anyway? Sure hope he's not dead. Whoops. I, I pressed the wrong button and re-equipped my Okay, yeah, so you can actually, there's a quick button to, to equip your uh, armor. That's quite nice. Uh, let me try and find my one villager who's been doing a bang up job of killing all the zombies, pretty much. Let me see where he is. Elder hat. What is that? Sure hope that's not some, not uh, left over from someone that died. cosmetic item all right i'll wear the elder hat i got some map fragments well, quite a lot of map fragments the uh my one villager like i say he's been doing a bang up job and just killing pretty much as many zombies as he can see i don't know where he is though oh there he is there he is hello friend oh, i mean that duck surely did not deserve death but um you have delivered it all the same let me talk to you I want to buy something, I want to sell you. Will you join my settlement? I, I thought he was already part of my settlement. I will join your settlement for 203 coins and 20 wool. So I need wool. What can you do? I can help around your settlement with hauling, crafting, forestry, farming, hunting. Wow. And I can join you on adventure parties. That sounds really cool, actually. So I, I think I have the money taken care of. I have quite a lot of money, I think. Um, I don't see where my money is, but that's fine. Uh, but I definitely am going to need to take care of the wool part. I haven't really checked out these buttons on the save. Teams and PvP open settlement hotkey. Could not find settlement flag. Okay, so I need to do that. 
What is our co current quest? We have none. Okay. Island map. That's our map. That's our, that's our, oh, world map. Here we go. Okay. So I, I'm pretty sure that this is what the map fragments have been doing relative to your spawn, relative to world map. Global coordinate. Okay. So, um, I think I have a boat somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and try and find my boat and we can, uh, we can go and, uh, explore a different zone and maybe get some more NPCs. I just realized that you can actually aim the bow while you're running away so you can shoot backwards, which, you know, technology is, is great when you actually know how to use it. Um, <laughs> Well, I, I am not I, I swear to god I did make a boat, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make another one because um they're not they're not super expensive. Also I could just like kill a bunch of sheep. But I have a funny feeling that there's a tool that will let me just kind of shear them without having to kill them. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Where are we? Oh, I'm actually I should be heading northwest. Ooh, that zombie got real close. We got another map fragment. Whoa, you came out of nowhere, didn't you? There are, I know there's like bosses and stuff in this game. Like the game's actually quite robust. There's a lot to explore, a lot to do. By the way, I had a shield this whole time. So that would probably help with the, uh, the ranged zombies. Let me see, uh, can we maybe make some make some tools i don't know oh shears i see them i don't know if those are for okay yeah can be used to shear sheep so we need we need 10 bars of iron that that would have been a good spend on that but that's fine F effective at harvesting grown plants well we have a kind of a little bit of a farm uh, we could we could do something like that can be used to pick up liquids and milk cows that would probably be useful. I should have used the uh, the iron on other things and then used the copper to uh, make some armor. It's fine though, you live and learn. Um, I am gonna make a boat all the same. Let me see what we can do here. Spruce bathtub, that's great, I love that. Uh, I might be, it might be that I can only make it over here. Workstation, I don't know if I have, oh yeah, I do have a workstation, I think simple bullet i need to make a boat oh you can uh, you can cut the grass and that's how i get get those uh, worm baits all right let's uh, let's see if we can make a boat here here it is wood boat can be placed in water or used for mount slot plus one travel distance um, mount slots are new. I don't remember that being a thing. So I should be able to, uh, leave this island now. Can I, can I use it here? How come I can't boat? I'm not boating. Let me see. Oh, there's, we got a lot of apples out of there. You know what? Let's, uh, let's leave in the morning. There's too many zombies about right now. I'm, I'm not keen. Oh, you can just like walk through your door. And it automatically opens and closes. That's quite nice. I like that a lot, actually. I like how the zombies just kind of run away and like, okay, well, it's nighttime or it's, it's daytime. I know I have to leave now. It's my time to go. Got some stone arrows. I have some uh, more map fragments, so I'm gonna try and uh, when when we find get to a new location, I'll I'll use a couple of those to see if I can find something interesting. All right. So if I step in the water here, do I get a boat? No. How does one get a boat? Hotkey is down. Oh, there we go. Ah, heck yeah, it's actually pretty spicy. I like how I like how uh, how much pepper is in this boat So we can travel east let's go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, so that that's how the map works That makes a little bit more sense relative to your spawn relative to yourself So there's a settlement northeast 
Um, let me see. Let's can we can we travel northeast? Select island. This part is a little bit trickier. Okay, there we go. Discover. Okay, so we already went to the desert village. So we haven't checked out this um, forest here. So let's go there. We can also set notes. That's kind of neat. I always like it when you can like mark the map in some way. Because then, uh, you know, I don't know. It's like sort of like you leaving a mark in the world. It, it you know it, it shows a, it's a very good effective way of like showing how you've explored you know in the same sense it, it's sort of like when you um you're able to build a home in a, in a game in any kind of rpg and then like put mounts on the wall and uh signs of like you know those are your those are signs of your accomplishments you know trophies of what you've accomplished in the same sense the, the when you whenever a game lets you mark the map i always appreciate that because it's like that's also a sign of your accomplishment of, of exploration now uh we did just like travel through the whole tile here and not find an island so i wonder if it's a little bit south yeah there we go we've got bees love me some bees wondering if we can do some uh oh yeah we can harvest i wonder if we can do some beekeeping in this game love love when a game lets me do beekeeping i don't know what it is about beekeeping as a mechanic i just like it a lot um all right so we've got ourselves a chest Ooh, ooh, more map fragments we've got all kinds of stuff here um i think that there's an auto button for loot Oh, I guess that's the button there. So it's not as convenient as I would like, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and also take the chest, and I'll probably set up an inventory system at some point. Now, if we had shears, then me visiting this island oh, and a bucket would mean that we could also get some wool and some milk free of charge, of course. I mean, the island's pretty cool. Uh, we had some, we got some honey. Uh, why don't we go up to the village and check out what we've got going on there? Also, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say right now that this is a win. Uh, I'm going to be flashing the code across the screen. So if you uh, if you see it first and you want yourself a uh, self a copy of what I'm playing right now, Nessess, then, um, you know, grab it. First come first come for serve. Um, thanks a lot to uh, Hooded Horse and the developer for reaching out to me and uh, providing me with a key and I'm glad to support if I can. I think that this is a game I've been meaning to, to play more of because I always appreciate these kinds of games. Um, I, I always like a, a fresh take on the survival genre that knows kind of um, how to navigate around the pitfalls of the survival genre. And I think the pitfalls are like, it's not, you know, like farming isn't the end game, you know, it's not necessary to play the game, but it, it just like is a means to um, make things more convenient for yourself. And I think that Valheim understands that uh, and it makes uh, eating like a method of, of actually buffing yourself rather than like a necessity. Um, and I guess that's, you know, there's two ways of saying the same thing in a way. Finn's crafting material. Oh, cool. Like it, we got the same thing as we got going on in uh, Terraria. We can confine gear and they are craftable you can combine them maybe with other stuff we got a mindful enchanting scroll used to enchant a summon weapon with mindful you single use interesting so we'll grab all that and uh i'm going to continue to break down these chests whenever i find them that's a, a good habit by the way i like even in terraria i find uh something really it's really annoying when you can when you play with friends and they they go and loot all of the local chests and then they don't break the chest because then you're like doing your thing you're out exploring and then you see the chest and you're like oh boy something literally anything and then uh, you you to your dismay it has already been looted it has been scavenged and uh so i like to um I like to pick up the chest. Let me see here. Local village map used to find islands around you. Let's go ahead and make a couple of those. We could do some fishing at some point. Um, dungeon map. And we'll make a couple of each. 
Oh, I guess they don't stack. Okay. So let's just use these. Boop. Northwest of your location. Um, northeast of your location. Okay. So let's let's go northwest. Um, there's going to be a village there, hopefully. And I'm hoping the recall potion will just let us go all the way home, like straight away. We don't have to like, you know, I'm hoping there's no restrictions to that one. It makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so we can see a village to our northwest. Forest village. Let's check. Let's. Check. Oh, wait, that's discovered already. Oh, may okay, we discovered it, but that doesn't necessarily mean we, we have explored it. So let's go ahead and check that out anyway. We are pretty hungry. You know what? Let's do some fishing. I love me some fishing. We have some worm bait. We we should be able to do this. Let's see how fishing is in this game. Heck yeah, we got a fur fish. You know the game is good when it's got a fishing mini game. We got a herring. Okay, so like these are crafting materials. Can we just eat them though? No, actually. No, you can't just you can't just eat them. So we have to cook them maybe it's getting uh dark we're gonna have to hit hit this village quickly um hopefully i can i can find some food and um hopefully i can uh find some people that might be interested in joining my my settlement do 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 hello hello friend phoebe the villager uh, will you join my settlement? You will join for 14 wool and 90 coins. What can you do? You can do all of the things. Um, all right. Well, it seems to me I'm definitely going to need more wool because that seems to be a common theme that everyone wants. Uh, this lad over here, I wonder if he, he would be interested in joining. Whoa, we got a, like a very robust village here. Hey, bud, come here. You want 360 coins and eight health potions and two resistance potions. There's a lot of people here. I wonder if any of them would buy, uh, selling me anything. You want 72 coins and 10 leather. That seems doable. I wonder if these guys would be cool with me uh, using their crafting stuff. I want to buy something. So this guy will sell me recall scrolls, a book which is a crafting material. I don't know how much money I have and I can't tell anywhere where that is. Oh, okay. I have 812 coins, so we can afford to buy a book. Will you sell stuff? They want bat wings. Okay. So in order, okay. Getting hungry. I mean, there's all kinds of uh, zombies here. These guys are really tough, by the way. If you're ever, like, worried in these kind of games about your villagers dying, not a problem in this one. What did you do that for? I, I didn't mean to hit you. I, I was trying to help you. This guy wants five health potions. I, I just If I can make a battle potion, then uh, this guy could join me. But anyway, I'm, I'm just going to head home. Let's try Let's use this. Yeah, so that that there's no limitations to that one. Um, so I guess I'm going to need to make uh, get some more. Um, I'm starving. All right, let's uh, let's use this. We should be able to make some fish stuff. Roasted mutton. We can make a couple of those. We'll we'll definitely do that and we can make some roasted fish as well i assume you can also turn fish into potions i've got so much junk in my inventory right now it's it's kind of absurd I did not mean to do that why why are you using that when i'm trying to use okay so i've wasted two recall potions oops and let's use this and um i should dump some stuff off i'm just gonna go ahead and oh god the, the zombies 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw some chests down so that I can store some more junk. Not too worried about organization right now since uh, whatever, you know, can like pull will do so happily. Go ahead and make another map fragment as well, or just, I guess, map. Place our last chest just so that I get it out of our inventory. Go ahead and oh, ouch! So I can use this um, shield. Oh, interesting. He actually took damage from me blocking their arrow, but then I wasn't able to use the uh, shield anymore. These are these are things probably I uh, I discovered the first time I played this game. You're gonna have to forgive me if um, if me rediscovering them is a, a little bit annoying i i'm sure there are people out there that have been wanting me to play exclusively this game for a long time now um you know i i, I may do a series of this game who knows if there's call for it i'm never i never uh you know i, I never say never kind of thing um can we do anything with oh those are iron bombs i thought they were stones hey thank you friend appreciate that and we'll go ahead and store the fins. I think I, ch I placed all the chests backwards. I don't think that they're supposed to be looking like that with the hinge on the back. Oh, well. Um, and we'll also throw these caves. I noticed I can make some cave spider armor. Let's see what we can do with um, this book. I'm just gonna run away. We've got blood bolt. Oh, these are spells. We need 10 bat wings to make those or shadow bolt, which we need ectoplasm for. It made it an advanced workstation. Okay. So we have um, spell crafting in this game, which is kind of cool. So I guess if I was like gonna do a series of this, the next thing I would want to do is uh, I'd want to check out the cave spiders, but you know what? Since let's let's leave this on the on a high note, I kind of want to check out what um, horrible creature I spawn with this portal. Evil predator. Uh, all right, we are doing very little damage to him. We got we got some pretty rad music going on here. I don't know what I'm fighting. Is that a dragon? We're taking some nasty damage, but I am actually wearing it down. Oh my god, this is some like 2000s era new grounds. It flew away. Get rid of this uh, portal. It seems to be making. Oh, I see. Uh, destroying the portal just makes the more spawn. However, it has spawned in my house. I am totally okay with that because um, now they're trapped in my house. So they're shooting homing missiles now. This 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 is a lot. Ouch. I died. Is he gonna fly away? Yeah, he flew away. Okay, well, uh, I, I think I did pretty okay. I seem to recall I maybe summoned something um, the last time I played this game and did, did similarly very badly. Although I think I did better this time than I did last time. I'm wondering what that ancient statue is. Where is that? I keep seeing that ancient statue every time I pick up my stuff. Where Where is that? Ancient statue calls for an ancient creature must be used in desert biome. Okay, so it's another boss summon. Okay. Can we get rid of these markers i don't know how to get rid of these markers okay whatever well also a uh, very minor just a uh, thing i want to point out that i, I appreciate is that the, the game has picked up on the fact that i'm using a ps4 controller and is using correct commands always really appreciate when a game actually does that because it's like it, it means i don't have to like decipher the the controls and then uh you know my brain doesn't have to do that the, that extra little bit of legwork uh makes learning a game a lot easier anyway this is Nessess. uh the game is is good i'd like to do a series but i you know i'll have to find out if maybe there's some call for it so let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like uh or appreciate from me um and uh yeah i'll uh i'll see you guys next time maybe hit the like button consider subscribing if you're new to my channel 
and uh, take it easy.